Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to something a little different on the channel. Um, not that different, still Zoo Tycoon, obviously. But um, today, we're gonna go with no mods. So, I'm mostly doing this series because. just to try something a little different, and then also to show people. I'm just gonna go into a uh, just a large city zoo, I think. Try to show people that it's possible to make, you know, something that is still creative and fun and, and looks decent, I guess, in uh, in a vanilla game without any without any mods. All right, so we actually are on the map. Um, for a couple things before we start, um, first, uh, it's been a long time. Probably close to a year since I've really done commentary on a uh, video like this. Well, maybe not that long. I don't know. What is time, really? Um, um, so I probably am not going to be great. A little bit off. But I was never really that great, so that's that. And also, I don't have a silent mouse anymore. I used to have a silent mouse. So, like, you didn't really hear clicks and stuff. I don't know how much you can hear this. I'm guessing you can hear it um, pretty well. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about that, so try to ignore it. Even though now I've pointed out, I bet you can't ignore it at all. So I'm going to just start here by deleting everything on the map, and I'm going to flatten the whole thing out to sort of just give us a blank canvas to work with. Um, so yeah, in this series, I'm just going to build, just build out the whole map, which is, you know, fun, regular vanilla games you try to keep it or try to make it interesting, try to make it creative, even though, you know, I'm limited to uh, just what's in the game without mods. The only mods I technically do have in the game are um, the widescreen pack, so, you know, you don't have the black bars on the side. And I have uh, the silent messages, so like the messages that pop up up here, top of the screen, those won't make a little notification noise because that's really annoying. And I ignore those anyways. I'll try to ignore them a little bit less than this because I'll actually be trying to take care of the animals a little bit. Um, and then I have a no rampage hack. Um, I don't, I'm not planning on using any dinosaurs in this map or in this zoo, so it's probably unnecessary. But I just kept it in there just in case. And I'm, I think dinosaurs are the only things that can rampage. Um, I don't think any animals are capable of doing that. Oh, I should have kept them. Well, I didn't want to do that because I have a, the biome and space hack that also is part of it. I'm pretty sure it's part of the same mod. will make us so guests are never scared of the animals so they won't ever panic if the animal's out of an exhibit. I probably should have kept that in there but I also don't really want the biome space hack thing because I want to sort of play this um, the right way but we'll see. If that becomes a problem they start running around and screaming even though the animals are all in their enclosures which it does happen sometimes, then maybe I'll consider adding that back in. Though this is going to be annoying. Just a tiny little uh, terrain brush to work with. So that'll be fun. But uh, anyway, the other thing I want to say is uh, I thought about naming all the animals in the zoo after subscribers. So if that's something you guys are interested in, um, let me know in the comments just leave uh, what name or it just basically say if you would want that if you want to be named after animal um, what name you want me to use and if you care uh, what gender the animal is uh, if you just say like yes then I'll just I'll use your YouTube username or whatever uh, and then whatever animal and you can request like certain animals like if you want to be named after I don't know a tiger or something you can request that, just know that I'm not going to like immediately then go out of my way to make a tiger enclosure. Um, it'll just be if and when I get to that, um, that I'll reserve your name. It'd probably be easier if you just um, were like, I'd like to be named after, you know, a big cat rather than a tiger because then it sort of opens up options a little bit for me. It doesn't make it so I have to do, not that I have to do it anyways, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to get rid of this path. I don't know why they ever chose to do this. 
I wonder if anyone ever just kept this. I feel like everyone who ever plays this game deletes these paths. I don't think I can delete anything out here, can I? No, that's a mod that does that. Okay. So, how to begin? I think I flattened everything out. I guess I could go here. Does that look flat? Does everything look flat? Looks pretty flat to me. Okay, where's the entrance? There it is. Okay, so this first episode, I'm just gonna build an entrance area. Um, maybe we'll put a, a small enclosure. I don't know. Do we want to use asphalt? Sorry, you can hear it. If you can hear the fan on my computer, I can hear it, but I don't know if you guys can. I don't know why it's chugging so much. Well, yeah, I do. It's old and it's a potato. That's probably why. I kind of like that too. It's so weird having like, was it eight um, pads? Isn't there an extinct animals path? I thought there was. Do I have to unlock that? You know, I've never done any of the campaigns in this game, ever. I've never done them. I wonder if I should do that at some, time, some point. I mean, it, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. I've just never thought of even doing them. I don't want to do the dirt path now, actually. I'm just going to do the dirt path. And then you guys, ah, oh, dirt, dirt's kind of, I don't know, maybe I should just do concrete. Yeah, I'm going to do the concrete path. And then if you guys think another path would look better, what does this one look like? Oh, I changed my mind. We're doing the stone path. I like that better. Um, let's go to some, nope, yeah. All these icons are not familiar to me. Where's like the planner boxes? Here they are. We'll put some stuff like this. It's all on the grid. It's all confined to the grid. It's okay. We'll do something like that. Actually, I changed my mind already. There'll probably be a lot of that in this first one, just me playing around with things. Um, and then maybe once I've kind of got an idea of what I want things to look like. Oh, do I like that? Might get a little less. Um, you know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think I don't remember the last time I played this game without new mods. I guess it was when I did that unmodded challenge zoo. That was pretty short lived. That must have been the last time. I don't really, this probably might surprise some people, but I really don't play Zoo Tycoon um, outside of recording it. I just don't. It's like when I'm playing it, I might as well be recording it, you know? Let's see, what trees do I have? Let's see if any of these vanilla trees actually look pretty good. I think, remember this being one of the best looking of the vanilla trees. That looks pretty good, actually. No. That looks pretty good, too. I kind of like that better than the modded one. I, like the, I, I don't know if it's Radical Remake or whatever that remakes it. Not that. That's OK. Could do some of these. I don't know. I do need some fences though too. Maybe I'll start with that. Uh, yeah, you guys could, you know, tell me what animals you'd like to see in the zoo. Um, obviously, it's it's restricted to just um, the base game animals, so it's not like there's a, a million things to choose from. Do chain link. Probably don't chain link here. Um, 
think this one looked okay, didn't it? Do something like that. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Might even make those fences taller in the back. Is there a taller version of that fence? I think there is. Yeah. some trees maybe. Let's see. I'm gonna go to this. Let's find some grass that I like. What does this grass look like? It's kind of funky. I think I like this one because it's like really really vibrant. I'm looking them up close. I think these ones might have like seashells and stuff in them. Uh, which looks kind of weird just randomly. Um, this one doesn't seem to. Yeah, I think I'll use this. Is that a reef? Yeah. Okay. And some trees. Those trees. That's a possibility. Can I put it like that? Nope. How do these look? They're way too big. I think it's weird how they put some trees on a four by or a two by two, like that. Even though the trees really aren't that much bigger. Like that makes sense because of the trunk is so big, but like that doesn't make any sense. I've always hated this tree. I think it's really ugly. I like this tree actually. This is actually my the um, the remade version of this is by my favorite tree. I don't know if you guys remember what it looks like, but it's probably my favorite tree in Zoo Tycoon. I use it a lot. Uh, probably not pines, I'm not really going for that look. Even though I don't think it matters too much, because it's, it's all going to look eh <laughs> at this point. What I will do, that's why I forgot to mention, what, I, what I'm going to do once I'm finished with this zoo, um, I'll do like a walkthrough, but I'll add all the mods back in. Um, so it'll actually, we'll see kind of what it looks like um, with mods and like the difference mods make. Uh, mods make, And I think that's what I was going to do with the unmodded challenge though. I just um, obviously never got around to doing that. I'm taking a long time on this, I just realized. Very important decision though. It's not really that important. Huh. I kinda like that tree actually, but it's too big. So I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. I think I might end up doing this. It might be one too many though. I think I might get rid of this. One of those two. I gotta change the ground first. Change that back to reef. Um, I hope that um, clicking isn't too loud. I'm kind of used to it, but I liked that silent mouse, but um, I still have it. Actually, I didn't get rid of it, but it's, it like it was a wireless mouse. It just like devoured batteries. It went through them so fast. And I was like, I'm done buying AA batteries constantly for this stupid thing. And I just bought a old mouse with a, like a, you know, a cord, like in the olden days. Maybe I'll get rid of, yeah, I think I like that better. Maybe I'll put something else there. Maybe a rock. I do like rocks. In this game, anyways, I don't have any strong feelings one way or the other in the real world. Um, 
What is the re what do the reef rocks look like? Is that that's boreal? It's weird. It's weird how some some of the rocks uh, with radical remake change so much, and others are almost identical, like the coastal rocks. They just added a little bit more texture to them. Same with these. I don't know if they change these at all, really. They look almost exactly the same. What is this? Alpine. That's going to be Savannah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Reef. Yeah, duh. Reef's the, like the coral reef stuff, which is not really a rock, but we'll ignore that. Then there's the old wetlands rocks, which pretty much just look like poop. I like these tundra rocks, actually. I kind of like these better than the, um, the remade ones. What is this? Uh, rainforest. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put rock. I'll change my mind. I'll put some flowers or something. Can I put these under? No, not even that. What are we gonna do? That's nice. I can do that. I think these could actually go. Yeah, these could go under there. Is there another one? Oh, I can do that. Oh no, I can't do that. So replace it. Does that look better? No, I think I like the pink ones. I'll just do these under all the trees. Um, and then get, let's get our reef back. Yeah, okay, I think that's, that's solid. What are you lagging for? Stop lagging. You should not be lagging. There's no mods. Um, I'm going to take this road out a little further. I want to get it set up um, so we can uh, get the first exhibit done pretty quick. Probably won't do any in this video. Um, but in the next one we will. Oh, I'm going to record the first two uh, episodes of this at once, so if you do leave suggestions for uh, I want to make that more round. If you leave uh, name requests, like if you want a name in the game, um, I won't see it until like the third episode, but that's probably when there'll be animals anyways. So it should be fine. Well, let's just add like a fountain or something. Not that one. Oh, that's right, some of these are like weird. It's like, this is what? Three by three? That's weird. Hopefully they're not all that size. Yeah, this is two by three, which is also really weird. I feel like that could have been two by two pretty easily. Um, now that we're able to like fit like in the middle of anything. Can you? Nope. They probably did this just so people would like so it would bother people. Can I do it this way? Maybe I can do it that way. Sea lions. I guess we're kind of committed to putting sea lions at some point now then. Now can I put benches around it? That's the big question. These funky benches from the base game. I don't think I will be able to. I mean, kind of. That didn't look that bad, actually. Oh, garbage cans. Yeah, no, that's not going to... Oh, right there. But I don't think I really need to, to do that right now. Okay, and then I want... Oh, this is what I want. I had a feeling you were going to do that. 
It's okay, we'll just replace our... Will I replace the flowers, actually? Maybe I just have those there. I don't even know if I can put flowers. Um, okay, I can. Yeah, but I gotta do this again. Yeah. That looks alright. Okay. I can live with this start. It's not bad. You're probably thinking, um, that looks awful. You should not play Zoo Tycoon anymore. But once it's all, um, it, once it comes together, it'll look pretty good. As good as it can look um, with these base game graphics and stuff. Uh, but that's going to do it for this first one. Like I said, I'm going to record the next one right now, and I'll do a first enclosure. And if you do have, uh, if you do want to be named after an animal, just put it in the comments of the first video. Because um, that's the one I'll like go back and check a lot more for the, I mean I'll, I'll read all the comments but um, just kind of easier if it's all in one place for me but either way it's fine I guess so thank you for watching um, if you enjoy this series and want to see more of it um, let me know you know because I feel like part of the reason I want to do is because it's like really easy for me to record this so I'm going to try to put out videos uh, more consistently and this is a really easy series for me to make so uh it's not very time consuming compared to like, it takes me like an hour or more sometimes to make like a big speed build. Um, but this I can, I can crank out like, you know, four or five uh, episodes in an hour. So um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.